Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 9. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth, and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. I want to give all praise, honor, and infinite glory unto my power, Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, Baha Shemra HaKudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles for great millstone who taught us this truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. My name is Malak, and I'm back with another lesson. Just wanted to hearken in on the first point of this Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 9, as it beautifully reads, they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. Now, what we've constantly been hearkening on, been beaten into the ears of the, of the ones of you who tune in and listen to these lessons is the spirit of prophecy. Okay, that spirit of prophecy is heavy in the times that we're coming into now. And that's our trust, our confidence in the, in the prophecies that we're seeing to come to pass. That's giving us more strength in these times. We can see in the midst of this gross darkness uh, above all these other people. Okay, we're the only ones that have the light. Us that are involved in this small thing of ours. Okay. And with the Lord revealing himself unto us, our trust should continue to grow in him because it's going to do nothing but benefit us in these times ahead. So I'm going to read the rest of this verse. It says, well, we'll start at the top. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3 verse 9. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. So when we put our trust fully in him, he's going to increase us as well. Okay, the more that we are faithful unto him, he's going to increase us. He's going to build us up in the spirit. Okay, Our trust is not in the things of this world, our money. Okay, It's a famine coming up. It's not in the trust is not in our, you know, your, your big ass stash of peanut butter that you got or your, you know, Food and water bottles that you that you have, the water purifier, that's not where our faith is. That's not where our trust is. Okay, let's get this word trust actually. Just so we can get some clarification. On what trust is, man. Because that's a very important trait to have in a relationship, especially with our Lord, man, is to trust. And especially with brothers as well that trust all right now this is definition of trust in the edamon online it says reliance on the veracity okay that's uh yeah veracity is um habitual truthfulness uh accuracy correctness those are some of the synonyms for veracity precision preciseness realism because we are the real realist okay we are the a lot of people will come and in, in, up to the camp and and uh, say you, you know y'all doing all this complaining but uh and, and, and you you and, and we are pessimists but really we're realist okay we're not pessimists we're realist all right and that's uh the the truth of the matter man these people they want to hear the the sweet things that there's something good coming to america that there's something great coming above the horizon after we go through this bottom this this down period which uh you could you say uh you know a recession is coming in people will say oh wait, oh wait there was a recession we're gonna bounce back well that's not the case this time there's gonna be major death major destruction coming to this to america babylon the great okay and that's what our trust is in so it says this word trust reliance on veracity or precision integrity 
or other virtues of someone or something. Religious faith. Okay, our religious, this is our faith. Right? We put our faith into the Lord. Okay. Now it says our help, our confidence, because he is our help. He's our confidence. The Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is our help and our confidence. We don't lean onto the things of this world. Right? What does it say? In Proverbs 3. Well, let's read it. Now this is Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. So we're supposed to trust in him with our whole mind. All right, that word heart goes back to mind, la'ab in the Hebrew, okay? It goes onto your mind. We're supposed to constantly trust in him, knowing that he's got our back, knowing that he's going to be there and going to save the men that sigh and cry for the abominations that are done in the midst thereof, the true men of the Lord. We are going to be fed in the time of persecution when our names are you know, blasted out on the social media sites, on the news. He's going to make a way for us for being loyal unto him because that's what's going to come. We're going to be hated above, above, above all men. You know, the people that really are loyal unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai will be hated. And we've put ourselves, I'm speaking about the men that make these videos, okay, that are out on the highways and byways teaching. We've made ourselves a spectacle and stood up for the truth of the matter. Okay, like it read in that wisdom of Solomon. But it says, they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. We have that understanding. We put our trust in him, knowing that we're going to be okay. And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. So we're abiding with him. Okay. We're having that, um, that solemn assembly with the Lord. Right? He, we've, um, we've supped with the Lord. Okay. That's what we were doing when we, you know, behind the scenes, we study, we congregate with brothers, you know, we have holy conversations. Man, that's what we were doing. We we're abiding in that shadow. Okay, it says, for grace and for grace and mercy is to his saints, and he hath care for his elect. The Lord's willing, we are of that elect. So we want that care. So what do we need, what, what do we need to do to have that care for, for, uh, for our soul? For the, so the Lord can have care on our soul Is to care for the Lord himself man. Put, the, put your trust in him Now this is Jeremiah Chapter 17 verse 7 Blessed is the man that trusteth In Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai And whose hope And whose hope the Lord is for he shall be as a tree planted by the waters, and that spreadeth out her roots by the river, and shall not see when heat cometh. But her leaf shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. The heart is deceitfully, is deceitful above all things, and desperately wicked, who can know it? Okay, like we read in that Proverbs 3, man, we're not supposed to lean upon our own understanding because our heart is wicked. Our mind is, it was created to be wicked. What we're supposed to do is trust in the Lord. And that trust in the Lord will lead to you being likened to a tree planted by the waters. Right? You being on the same vibration as the creator of heaven and the earth, of course, man, he's going to protect you when all judgment breaks loose. Look, man, we are too close to be weak, man. And this is this is speaking to myself as well, because I could always do more. All right, we are too close to the end to be weak. We, we, can, we need to be purging out our imperfections, man. I'm talking to myself first and foremost, man. Lord, hey, 
I pray that I have mercy, man. That the Lord have mercy on you. Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha. You know what I'm saying? As we should be, man. Humble, humbly doing the work. Right? And we gonna be the we gonna be fed in this time of drought. Like it reads, man. It says, and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. Ain't nothing gonna cease. We're not gonna cease from yielding fruit. Tribulation, persecution. We're still gonna praise Yahweh Bashim Yahweh's name. Okay? Like our forefathers did, man. Nothing is gonna separate us from Hamashiach. Okay? Not tribulation, not famine. All right, roughly quoting, um, I think that's in Romans, maybe Romans six. Nonetheless, this is um, First John chapter five, verse fourteen, and this is the confidence that we have in Him, because our confidence, our faith, like we just read earlier, man, our faith. Those that trust in the Lord will understand the truth. This is our faith. Okay. It says, and this is the confidence that we have in him. That if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. Verse 15. And if we know what he, know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have petitions that we desire of him. So, yeah, man, we ask of these things for mercy for faith for understanding and for judgment man he's going to bring it that's that's our confidence man our faith and uh, you know I'm going to keep pushing that faith man because it's very important it goes along right along with prophecy man that's the spirit man because we we're going to have to we're going to be in very strange situations very peculiar situations where we're, 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 we're witnessing the climax of the of all humanity of all the time on the earth man we're reaching the climax of the movie of all time this is the you know the lord is revealing is he's, he's slowly but surely revealing himself we have the truth right the, the truth is starting to bring forth its fruit you got brothers waking up all over the nation with this knowledge and are investing man so we are in the best we are the best of times and the worst of times man <laughs> so hey man lord's willing this is edifying i'm not gonna make this long uh you know it's just a quick hit but hey lord's willing is this was edifying unto you and yours brothers keep fighting we almost there I want to give all praise, honor, and infinite glory unto my power, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who taught us this truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.